Matt and Tyler with you on a Thursday crossover, Titans and uh, Lions. All right, Tyler, uh, you, you go first here. What are some keys for the Titans? How do they how do they steal one at Ford Field? Well, I said it at the top of the show. The, the reality for the Titans is this is going to be a very difficult game to win no matter what. But if they're going to do it, they're going to need to run the ball. They're going to need to force turnovers. And they're going to need something special. You know, like that, that's, that's what it takes. They're going to need a little bit of Mo City magic. I'll call it like they got to <laughs> stop the run. Like I talked about before, because if you let Jared Goff get third and manageables, it's going to be too easy for those guys over the middle of the field to get four or five yards. So you got to get them in third and eight, third and 10 and hope that you can stop them there. And that all starts with stopping this run game. If they do that, then they got to force turnovers that they got to win the turnover battle by two or three to have a chance to win this game. Cause it's not just about stopping the lions offense. It's about putting your offense in a position to get some easy points. And then again, they're going to need a little bit of magic on the offensive side of the ball, in my opinion. They're going to need a, a crazy play to break their way. They're going to need somebody to have them. They're going to need Calvin Ridley to finally go nuts and haul in a deep pass past the safeties. They're, they're just going to need something that they don't get week to week, and that's somebody to step up and, and be a great player. The Titans have, have kind of... When they've been good, they've just kind of done, it's been tight end screens, it's been a, a quick, you know, 8-10 to 10 over the middle, but they haven't had any deep explosive plays in the passing game for quite some time now. So they're just going to need somebody to step up and make a play. So run the ball, get the Lions in third and long, create some turnovers, and hope for a little bit of magic and a couple of plays on offense where the football just breaks your way and something happens. I mean, that's all they can hope for here. But the odds are this is just a total mismatch in terms of talent on a roster and, and the setup of a team and the culture and being on the road in Detroit. Just nothing favors the Titans in this one. So they're going to need a little bit of magic to be able to win this. You mentioned Calvin Ridley before. A quick follow-up. Uh, is he in a better mood lately? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how he would be going back through the film of Mason Rudolph. There are so many times. Everybody's mad at Calvin Ridley. He's dropped a couple passes. I mean, you look at the best wide receivers in the league, you're going to see their names at the top of the list and drops too. Tyree Kill, DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel. Like, those are the guys who have dropped the football the most over the last five years. So you can make up for that with great plays, but he's been open so much. A top five player in the NFL at creating separation this season, and he just doesn't get the football a lot of the time. So I know it's been ugly for him, but I, I can't take, take aim at Calvin Ridley. He's open and he ain't getting the ball. Interesting for the Lions, uh, just to transition here, you know, some keys is not to take this team lightly. I don't think they will. Under Dan Campbell, this team is all business. Right. They are one week at a time. But again, the look ahead to next week, 425, Fox in that primetime window at Green Bay and Lambeau Field, I, I think is a huge game for this football team. And they've had success at Lambeau the last couple of years. And, you know, you sandwich this game between at Minnesota and at Green Bay. It just like you said, it's it's a letdown. It's it, it's a trap, and the Lions can't allow that to happen. They've got to play good football, take care of the football. Last thing you want to be doing is giving Rudolph and that Titan offense, which isn't great, like you said, but just a short field. Um, right. No gifts this week. Just play yep. your game, do your thing, run the football, and 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 be smart about it. I think that is going to be a you know a big key for the Lions. Blocking Jeffrey Simmons, I'm I'm a big fan. Uh, obviously, the Lions. Uh, uh, interior offensive line has done done some very good things, but mm -hmm. this is a guy that's a game wrecker. And uh, I think that would be a key for the Lions anytime. And also kind of, again, the edge rushing situation, finding out what you have, um, and also finding out maybe about another receiver uh, with Jamison Williams out. Who steps up? Um, maybe now with J-Mo gone, they're going to, maybe the Titans figure, all right, let's just take 14 away and try not to have Amon Ra beat him who's going to step up and make some plays. But I think guys will. Tim Patrick, who came over from Denver, has done a really nice job and yeah. has made some nice plays. So um, that's how I look at it. I, I You know, prediction-wise, of course, we're both going to take the Lions in this game. Yeah. I mean, Tyler, I, I just wonder, though, if this is one of those slobber knocker, you know, 27-20 games where you go, man, I, I thought the Lions were going to blow them out. Um, or well, we is could it see just, it go the same. Like, you know, the Lions – Human nature, they could be looking ahead a little bit, knowing that they don't got to be a stake in this game. If they're a cheeseburger, they're still going to win, you know. But the Titans could, you know, make it close early. And then at the end of the game, the talent deficit 
just goes in the Lions' favor. So I think it could be a little closer than Lions fans want. One thing I do want to caution Lions fans before we go, do not think that your edge rush issues have improved if you do well against the Titans. The Titans' right tackle position is an absolute disaster right now. The coach even called it a big problem in the media. So whether it's Nicholas Petit-Ferrer, Leroy Watson, they sign Isaiah Prince, uh, who used to play right tackle for the for the Bengals during their yeah. uh, Super Bowl run where they had a miserable offensive line. Just, you're probably going to have a good week in the pass rush, Lions fans. It's fool's gold. You still need to make a move. So I just want Lions fans to keep that in their mind as we go into this game. Tyler, a, a pleasure, man. Hang in there. I know it's not been easy down there, but uh, when's the new stadium coming? When, when, are we, uh, when are we getting that? It comes out in 2027 is what the expectation is right now that that's when they will go into it. And honestly, I've been looking at that as a lot of people want to fire Rand Carthon, the Titans GM, and fire Brian Callahan because their expectations for the season have been subverted so far. But to me, you give this group, the coach, the GM, until the new stadium opens. If, if things don't get better in the final season before the new stadium 2026, then you cut bait with everybody hire new people, re-energize the fan base, and go into the new stadium with a little bit more hope. But 2027 is the expectation right now. Will Will Levis be the quarterback when they open the new stadium? No. I, w- <laughs> I will say no. And just so we're clear, I know you mentioned Rudolph earlier, so it sounds like you're already on board. But if any fans, Titans or Lions, were wondering, Will Levis will not play in this game. Jeremy Fowler from ESPN reported that on Wednesday. Um, good chance he's back for week nine, but you will not see Will Levis. And honestly, it's like the Indianapolis Colts. Playing their backup quarterback is more scary than playing their starting quarterback at this point in time. So I'm sure Lions fans would prefer Will Levis, but he will not be playing in this game.